Welcome to Draw Studio. Today we're going to learn about the coracobrachialis muscle. Let's get started. The coracobrachialis is a thin muscle that emerges from our armpit. It originates at the coracoid process deep in the scapula and inserts halfway down on the inside of the humerus. Because the coracobrachialis anchors into the scapula and acts on the humerus, if the arm is raised and the coracobrachialis contracts, it will pull the arm back down. Because other muscles aid in this, the coracobrachialis's action helps to pull the arm down quickly. The coracobrachialis is mostly seen if the arm is raised. It can be a complex pose to understand, because of all the muscles that interact with each other. The coracobrachialis's insertion is hidden as it tucks in between the bicep and tricep. The origin is hidden under the pectoralis as it moves out on top of the coracobrachialis and the bicep. The latissimus and teres major come from the back, overlapping the tricep on the inside and inserting underneath the coracobrachialis. There are two other muscles that would be seen in this complex interaction. The deltoids would sit on top of the pectoralis and bicep as they move to the outside of the arm. And the brachialis would be seen emerging from the bottom of the bicep and tricep. And here are the muscles labeled. To get this position correct, we must understand how these eight muscles weave together and which muscles overlap the others. Now let's find the coracobrachialis on the surface. We can clearly see the coracobrachialis here as a thin cable coming out from the armpit. We lose sight of the coracobrachialis as it tucks in between the bicep here and the tricep here. This shape underneath the coracobrachialis is the teres major and latissimus as they come from the back to insert into the inside of the arm. This edge coming across the coracobrachialis is the pectoralis muscle, making up the front of our armpit. Just above that, overlapping the pec and bicep, is the round mass of the deltoids. And finally, the brachialis emerging from the bottom of the bicep and tricep before it inserts into the forearm. Take time to memorize this complex set of connections as these muscles interact to move the arm. Remember all of these points when drawing the coracobrachialis. Analyze the anatomy on the surface of your reference and draw from observation and memory to help you learn. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.